here we are, and we're looking at Denise's blog, who's going to be here for a makeover. Uh, tell me what you got so far. Okay, well, I created some pages that are in a menu, and then I uploaded some documents as pages because they're not clickable PDFs. It doesn't work like a... It's kind of funny that it, that was a learning curve for me as I had to learn how to make new pages and put the information in there and then just have them kind of drop down. Right. They kind of, you have to hover over them, so I'm not sure how user-friendly that is, but that's just easy. trying to figure so out. So these are some things that you've written. Yeah, so I just sort of, that's sort of the more developed I, I, like, I like the coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's the only <laughs> thing that gets me going in the morning out right. of bed is my automatic coffee maker. It's set for 5 a.m. <laughs> You must be someone who plans well. I never remember to sit at a Oh, I have to or I can't function. So it's nice. This is some of your writing. Yes. Yeah. So my idea was I sort of wanted to do drop-down menus that had creative nonfiction, fiction, mm -hmm. young adult fiction, mm -hmm. children's stories, but I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. So in, essentially I just threw them up there and thought, right. okay, I'm just going to see what it looks like and, okay. and go from there. And uh, I'll talk a bit about sort of the way you might structure information because... Yeah. Um, it, it's always it's hard to explain, and, and I'm trying to refine the difference between post and pages. And, yes. And sometimes the difference doesn't really matter, mm -hmm. um, and so you can make both work. Okay. Um, it kind of depends, and then you you generally figure it out as you start writing. Right. And you might say um, how it works, but um, you know I can see this working as pages. Uh, the the reason you want to do things as pages generally are. If you kind of want to be able to uh, have like a, a table of contents that has them like listed in the order that they appear, yep. perhaps matters. Um, yeah. The thing about pages is uh, you can't categorize them or put tags on them. So if you're going to do a series, maybe you're going to write about, what, what topics do you like to write about? Cats. Cats, okay. <laughs> so you, let's say you might write about cats and you might write about vacations. Those are yes. things, okay. topics that you might start writing about. If you want to be able to list all the things you've written about cats, you'd have to manually create a list of those mm. posts or pages or put them on your menu. Okay. If, if you wrote them as post, all you would have to do is put them in a category called writings about cats. cats. Yeah, or writing about writing. Yeah, and then you would have one link that would pull up everything you've put in that category. Right. And the thing about categories is you can put them in multiple categories. So you could have a general catch-all category for all your writings and mm -hmm. then you could have subcategories for cats and vacations and then you might decide you want to start writing about ramen. Right. You know? Yeah. Okay. Um, what if you wanted to have a blog that's specific to a page? Like, so it's technically I would want a blog that focuses more on the writing process and then within that blog you could have some of those menus. Is that possible or no? When you say a blog you mean like a view? like a Yeah so like you know how you, when you come into your first page right? then you've got all that blog and it's right. like they're not I guess you could categorize but I'd like to go into I would probably go into my early morning You'd pages like them have a blog okay. and then within that on the side of the blog, little clickable things that would say not creative, non you know, things I'm working right. on, and right, and that's what I think I'm going to show you because okay. um, the, typically the you know when we go to your um, home, this is the typical blog thing where it's just the most recent thing, yes, chronological, exactly. and so there is a way. There, there's a couple options we can do. Uh, there are different themes that allow you to do a different kind of layout on the front, mm -hmm. um, where you might have at the top maybe stuff that you just marked as highlighted. Right. Um, the other way is uh, we can still use this theme, and what I can show you is a way that we can sort of create that front index that we want okay. um, and replace this blog take it off the front page mm -hmm. and put it inside. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, so you have a standing front page and then people can click in to see different things about Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, and so a more professional. Daylight hours is my professional, but is that clear to anybody? I don't know. Well, you know, <laughs> it's hard to answer these things, you know. It's it's you and so yeah. you, you may I mean I kinda like it. It's it's yeah. when I look at those over the years, early morning pages, daylight hours, the home. Yeah. Um, those sound like oh I'm curious about those. Okay. I, I wanna see more. Okay. Uh, but again I would see those as um, see if you, as pages you come in here and then you yeah, have to manually yeah. build an index. Right. So if we converted those to post, yeah. you could use categories mm -hmm. to organize them. Okay. That so, makes sense. Okay. Okay. 
Um, do you like the theme? I mean, well, I just chose it because I thought, well, yeah. I like blue, but it's, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not it's bad. Okay. It's clean. It's tidy. It's kind of, you know. Th there's two things I, I girly. can um, girly. <laughs> when, when you like, if if you were to like imagine and try to describe to me what you would like to, to see when someone first comes to your page. Yeah, I mean, I guess I sort of, my little tag is balancing, life balancing. It's sort of like teeter-totter. Okay. I'm always trying to balance things. Okay. So I kind of wanted, I mean, I had pictures of those, you know, those stones that you stack. Yes, yes. I kind of like that, but it's not stones that I've stacked. So right, right. I, and I haven't gotten to that. So it's a lot of things I think, oh yeah, it would be really cool to, you know, have my own stacking stones. But I also think it could be a collage of images. Mm. I would love to do a collage of images of family and okay. the animals and books and candles and coffee and all music, jazz music playing in the background. You're, you're that's kind of me, right? So that's, that's what great. I would rather you're, you're do that, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, so... Um, visual. Yeah. <laughs> so I went through, and I'm trying to find... This, people will watch on the screencast as I fumble mm -hmm. in my uh, Unit 5. Um, I decided to um, go through, I went through some of the themes that are available on WordPress.com because mm -hmm. not everybody, right. some people, a lot of people are on that and a lot of yeah. people are on our Truebox site. And okay. um, there are a lot of themes that you can use in each, but um, mm -hmm. I wanted to. Um, and essentially I probably need to just sit down and spend some serious time on it because I've kind of been, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, well, I'll do yeah. that later. And, <laughs> and we throw um, we throw a lot at you. Yeah, so but it's great stuff like when you can sit down and watch it. So these, these are all themes that, um, oh. that I've tried to organize in the kind of style. So mm -hmm. um, when you mentioned the thing about having like, um, like icons to mm -hmm. represent your things, to me that says one of these ones that have like a, um, a grid on the front, so I'm trying to remember, you know, and I, I forget all these themes. So every one of these themes, you can see a, a demo site. Um, mm. So this one is one that sort of every post on the front, or when you look at all your posts, will yeah. have this sort of layout. Um, mm. There's like a um, an image that's associated with each one. Yeah. A little teaser. Yeah. And you go inside. Okay. Um, I I that's call cool. that. So I, I call it masonry. So um, mm. this is one, a similar one called um, imbalance. Um, this one's a little bit different. So at the top, um, they sort of have this menu, oh, which like is kind of simple. And then yeah. you've got this kind of nice, nice little grid um, of images. Oh. You couldn't do that with pages. And you could probably change that red color, I assume. And so the, the idea of this, this masonry thing is that um, when you view it on a um, smaller device, like a phone, mm -hmm. uh, if you squeeze it, oh, this one doesn't, is not responsive. Okay, so take that back. Um, there are themes that are called um, responsive that will reshuffle oh, themselves. Okay. I don't think anybody would look at mine on a screen. <laughs> I might be. <laughs> Am I nobody? Um, no, that's true. <laughs> and so, um, you have to think of these things the yes. long term because I'm thinking at some point, yes, when someday I'm a you know, a yeah. really famous writer, then I'll have this and it'll be like, exactly, cool. exactly. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember, um, Ooh, this yeah, one, I, I kind of cool. like this one. See, those have mm. um, big, nice yeah. blocks, simple text that kind of gets your interest. Yeah. Um, it looks like, and the menu is off to the side here, oh, so yeah. this would Cute. be something you click. Um, to me, this is a really clean theme, mm -hmm. and so when we go into one of these, um, what we get is that nice picture. Look how beautiful mm -hmm. that picture looks. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, this one is pretty simple. They they haven't written anything. Okay. Um, it's just a, a picture gallery. But I like that. Um, so some people might use this for a. Um, I need to get my pictures up and going. And I found out where I can scan. The print shop will scan them. You oh, okay. can scan in, in so color and, then print, and yeah. download them and yeah. put them on a USB. So that's great. Yeah. See, this this theme, you can mm. actually put a video in the top, uh, which is kind of neat. Yeah. But this gives you a sense about, it's not a lot yeah. of text here, but the, but the, I like the it. style. And so, um, so if we take mine and use try this one. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. Let's see how it looks. So we're gonna go I'm over. Missing some pictures, but we're gonna go over. We're logged in over here to yeah. your site, to and themes. so we're gonna yeah. go to themes. I, I don't use the um, the WordPress.com interface as much, but um, it's the same. It's mm -hmm. just things are in a different different space. I'm always in the WordPress thing. That's fine. So then I can. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> 
No, it's so, a Cubic a free one. I'm yep. always looking for the free ones. Yeah. So I always <laughs> <laughs> that's how I found them. I clicked yeah. over to the free ones yeah. and oh, there it is, is right oh, okay. there. So you can this actually demo. Yeah, yeah, I've done this. I did, okay. spent an hour doing this going mm. I spent lots of hours. Now the demo um, this is actually just what we looked at. Oh. So it, oh, right. it doesn't yeah. really show you um, your content, but so um, if we, activate. we can just activate and the yeah, sure. Yeah, we can always change it. Yeah. Right. Now the thing is um, when we do this, we'll go into customizing um, yeah. in a second. Um, so now when we go to your site, oops, that was... Why is that dusted on? That was the other thing. Oh. Sorry. See, I already went to the wrong place. So we want to go to your site. Oh. And uh, you know how to go. Can't you it. just click on, like, I'm just wondering. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, I need photos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. So um, e each one of these things, um, we can add. But I had thing. pictures in this one. Okay, there's a special so, thing. Uh, okay. We'll find out. So when okay. we go into this one, um, the picture is inside. Oh, I don't want it inside. Well, no, it's okay to have it inside. Oh, okay. um, the, th <laughs> the thing about um, this theme is, um, uh, one thing is that's a small picture. Mm hmm so when we put pictures on that are going to be put there to make those nice big icons yeah. and a nice banner, you want a really large file size. Okay. So I'll show you how you do that. So um, if we, oh, darn, I clicked the wrong button. I want to edit your post, not that. <laughs> um, always, so there, somewhere there's a link to edit this one. Edit. Look, I made a comment. Oh, you did. Yes. I really like You're the things. only ones that... <laughs> Lucky you follow. You're, you're gonna develop. <laughs> you're gonna develop your. Fan Nobody base. knows it's out there yet. Right. I haven't shared it. So these are um, th these are great pictures and they're fine. Um, the thing that you want to do is create a featured image. That's what gets okay. shown yeah. on the top. So if we look at your um, things that you've uploaded, um, well, we could even use that one. Yeah. Now I'm gonna look. See. <laughs> see this. The, the original image. That one would work. Or that one. Is that the yeah. one you like? Sure. See, this is good. See the size of that image? That's yeah. really big. Uh, okay. Um, so you've done well because um, not everybody realizes this. When you um, upload your images to WordPress, um, it makes a bunch of copies of them in sizes smaller than the original. Oh, okay. Uh, so it makes a little thumbnail. It makes a, a medium. It makes a bigger one. It may make five different sizes. But it can only do it if you start with a big size. It can't make them Small. bigger. Okay. So generally, you want an image that's at least... this is. Beaut this is more than big enough okay. for the original. Um, we're never going to use that original image. It's, we're going to use um, a copy of that one. Mm -hmm. So we've just made that a featured image. And so what that means is um, we can... And can you have two? Like, that was my question because of, uh, of the title, Coffee and Cats, I was going to have both up there. I mean, and For the featured image, you'd actually have to edit them to combine. And, you know, oh, I, I could help you with that. Oh, okay. okay. That's another thing. But see, okay. even, here, that, yeah, yeah, even but here in your post... Mm -hmm. Um, so this, when you put this one and you put the thumbnail size. Mm -hmm. Well, it was because within the blog, it needed to be smaller. That was yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So I would, for these, um, I might put them at least medium mm -hmm. so they would be side by side. And so we can see it already changes, um, this one. So we will make this one, uh, medium. Mm -hmm. And then we might even, I wonder if we can do this, um, if we can, I was wondering if we could. Oh, uh, if we line that one in the center, yeah. If we do that, they won't be. Um, they won't be side by side. I thought maybe I could put them in the center, but that's another thing. Okay, so I could use a different sort of. I have Photoshop or, or what is it? The yeah. Yeah. Basically, you just yeah. need a, a photo thing where you can copy those two mm -hmm. together. Put um, them together and then and make a, a single make a image. Single, yeah. Them and use that okay. as a feature. But we can image. use that one. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and, and what happens is um, the featured image is going to be shown on the front mm -hmm. of the site as a big square icon. It's also going to be at the top of your post. So generally, you want a different image for your yes. featured than the ones you put in your post. Is that yes, make that sense? makes so yeah. Because I was right. trying to figure out well, how do you do that? Because it seemed like so one is a post image and one is a featured, featured image. image. So that's the distinction. And each okay. theme uses featured images in a different way. But doesn't that look beautiful? Yes. And, and you see brownie. this? This is called so cool. 
you see how it kind of squinches as we roll up? Yeah, yeah. That's called parallax. That's kind of a modern oh. web thing. And those images look better yeah. in that size. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you see it's kind of a, um, it's kind of a nice layout for writing mm -hmm. um, because um, cause it's got like good white space on the sides. Yeah. The text has good uh, line spacing. And, and then when we go to your home page, we'll, we'll fix that thing at the top. Mm -hmm. um, look at that. Mm, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So your task would be to go back to your other post. Mm -hmm. Get some photos. Right, right. Or so, icons. Yeah. Those little icons. Yeah. I miss that. Yeah. I miss that show. I got to re watch it. Right. How you get all those little so cool icons. So what we have here now is... Um, just your most recent things showing mm -hmm. up on the front page. So I need to get right in because look, it's old. <laughs> well, or categorize. How can you have this as a mate, sort of a nice something that, and then my where where did all my menus like my other sections? Well, they're go, they're right? um, so we have to actually activate the menu uh, because okay. I I did a couple things. So oh. um, let's see when we go to um, menus. Um, every time you change a theme, there's a couple mm -hmm. things that, that oh, happen. Oh, okay. Um, basically, we have to tell it to use it as a primary menu. Oh, okay. And so for the for right now, what this will do is um, now we'll have this thing active on the sidebar. Oh, but it doesn't show you actually have to click, so it won't it won't list them there. Hey, so well, people need to know to go in there. Yeah. It's it's kind of creating a minimal interface, right? Okay. Um, and and there are some other places we can put the, those links. Okay. Uh, but some other things that we can. Is there a way to have like one solid? Yes. Thing? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're ahead of me. <laughs> Got it. That this thing is called the customizer. So there are some things you can manipulate um, here mm -hmm. um, about the theme. So. Um, this information is what um, comes okay. in here. Yeah. Um, or you can use. It used whatever you used last time. I think that was a, um, an icon as a. Um, generally, what people do is they either use the the site, the title of their site, mm -hmm. um, at the top, or they create like an icon to represent. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's the way this theme works. Yeah, so, so let's take that away. So we want to take this um, logo out. Yeah. And we have kind of like a, a nice simple one mm -hmm. which we can play with. Um, or if you did, I'm just curious if we took a big image. I don't know what it would do um, for the logo. Um, see, this is this is a nice this is a nice. Yeah, so the logo it just makes a small image, so that that doesn't really work. No. Um, so I think the um, the title site. So there's some other things we get to mess around with. Okay. Um, you can't change the colors. But it tells me we need to be part of that premium plan. Yeah. For many things. So yeah. That's what happens when you go to WordPress.com. Mm, They're always trying to, to sell, sell you stuff. Okay. So you can't change the font. Um, we can't even do the custom CSS, which I would go in to change the size. Um, so. So now. But, you know, let's, we, we just work with this for now. Okay. Um, this dark filter for the featured image, I don't. This means when you hover over it, it, mm. it has a little bit of a. You see how it darkens a little bit? Mm -hmm. um, you want to think about this. Um, this part will actually, um, there's a place where the stuff you um, put in your profile mm -hmm. shows in a nice author display. You probably want that. Mm -hmm. um, keep title with content on single post with pages. Unfixed header when scrolling down. Some of the stuff I don't you know. You just try it and see what it looks like. Yeah. And the thing about the customizer is um, it allows you to see these changes. Um, I think what it means is typically the way the default is right now, your menu stays at the top when you scroll down. Oh, yeah. So those look wow. pretty nice if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if you want the... Um, the header to sort of scroll off the top of the page, you unfix it. So it means as you scroll oh, down the page. Oh yeah, no, I like the other one, but yeah, I, I yeah. like it fixed. So and you but can. I gotta put something. Gotta do something with that. Yeah, well, I I think I think it's kind of limited to as to what you can do with the header because. Yeah. Because and you have to pick certain pictures. Like I have this beautiful links image, but it's this way. Yeah. So right. So the many of the pictures stream across this. Page. Right. Right. So. Um, 
I'm going to have to think about that, balancing life, balancing what would be in there. It's not bad. You see, um, that that's kind of clean to me. Yeah. I mean, actually, I, I like it like that. Um, it doesn't oh, distract yeah, too much. Right. Just um, to get some other things. The, the other things uh, that we can do is um, the other way. There's a couple of things I want to talk about. So, um, when And I need to review how to authorize my the images. Like, they have to... Brian's always telling yeah. me I need who took the picture, who gets the credit. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, right, right. Okay. <laughs> so let's to let's talk about um, think about for your um, post your um, the ways to organize your stuff. Mm. So okay. right now, the only category <laughs> there's always a default category. Okay. So let's brainstorm. What are the kind of things that you might be adding to your site? Is it is it all going to be your your written work? Or are you doing like a are you doing a, um, a work portfolio? What's the Yeah, what's the and I have a research section, but it's all within that morning pages part, unless I want to think about it differently. Cause yeah, and you don't have to be fixed this. this is, you, can, yeah. you can update the structure at any time. So um, my, my general recommendation is to at least rename uh, this category because <laughs> uncategorized yeah. is, is kind of... Um, I mean, I could imagine I would have a general. I might yeah. have a work and I might have a... Writing. A writing. That? Okay, let's do that. So that's... A, right. I would... Yeah. And maybe family. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. know if that would be a category, but... That can work. Or home life. Right. Or so we'll add a work category. Yeah. Um, we'll add a writing category. Mm -hmm. And how about a life category? Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. There that's kind of a nice balance. Yeah. Yep. Uh, when you think about categories, you kind of want them to have like, it's it, it's easy to make really complex category structures. Yeah, but then you um, gotta use. But them all the, these these are all kind of like evenly balanced. Mm -hmm. uh, I can guess in terms of the kind of um, content that would be in there. Yeah. Now you can also create, um, and this is where we come in, um, subcategories within there. Okay. So let's th what things you're going to write about are, topic wise. Um, would you want like between fiction, nonfiction? You however you want. However you want. You can you can have lots of organizational short schemes. stories, novels. Yeah. Hmm. Let's do fiction and nonfiction. Yeah. And you know, you, even if you don't use these categories, I'm going to set the parent. Okay. Yeah. To writing. Okay. And so now we've got. Yeah. Um, I do creative nonfiction. It's called creative nonfiction. Creative nonfiction. Creative nonfiction. Yeah. We can fix that. Okay. So uh, you want this to be creative nonfiction? Yeah. With the hyphen or without, and I should spell creative right. Just like that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to add that one. Okay. What other ways do we might um, want to be writing about? Well, I guess you would have the research in there, right? Research review. Sure. And under research, you would have cats, fire, weather, oh, wind chimes. Like there's a whole bunch right. of stuff. Um, now, now, do you want to so put? Do you how want, do you put that? Do you want to put your research under work? Or writing? No, it would be under okay. most of the research uh, is under writing. Like, yeah. like right research related to writing. Yes, I got it. Yeah. All right, and we maybe have cats, <laughs> just because because <laughs> cats. Yes, you can do sense. you can yeah. you can do this anytime. You can change the name. Right, of the categories. you can edit the category. Okay, yeah. but if you have it within under like as a subsection and you edit it, it'll still stay stay in that yep. subsection. Okay, yeah. all right. And and so let me show you what happens when we go to your post. Um, so we, we've mm -hmm. already got things written, but they're all in the general category. Oh, right. So okay. we, we can come in right away, this thing called quick edit. Yeah. Um, oh, and there I can categorize Yeah, it. so where would this one go? My lucky day. That would be, well, see, the e-portfolio is about work. So let's do it put, we could say, okay. there. Okay. And so under work, I'd probably put professional development. Right, that would right. That be a subcategory. Right. So th this one, I bet, is going to have to do with um, writing and yeah. cats, right? Yeah, sure. Um, you can do both. I'm pretty sure if you put mm. cats, it'll be mm -hmm. it'll make it in the writing category. Um, but I tend to, to do them both. And let's do um, locked out. What's that about? Oh, that was this e-portfolio. <laughs> That's work. Uh, okay, yeah. That. We'll just make that work. So. Um, and then at this time of the year would be a life. Let's okay. see. we can throw that one under okay. life there. Yeah. So this way you can quickly change oh, um, yeah, the yeah. categories. Okay. Um, this is. And, and you can do other things with a quick edit. You can change yeah. the title. Yeah. Um, that's life. life. Yeah. So, and, and do you see what the, I don't know if you oh, see what one. that is. Um, that, that creates the URL out of your title. So if you have a really long title, like, yeah. let me show you, um, this one's fine. Um, this one here. Mm. 
Oh, right. <laughs> so you can actually edit this and just make shorter titles. It just needs to have yeah. no spaces in right. it. Right. I kind of like short URLs, yes, so yeah. I'm a little okay. bit anal about okay. fixing my <laughs> URLs. So, and what this means are now on our site, um, uh, this is a quick way to get in there. We have a couple things. This is already showing me um, where things are categorized. Mm -hmm. So when I go to my work category, I can actually view this. And so there's a link oh. that will show um, everything in your work category. Now, I have a page that goes under daylight hours. We're going to have to move those pages to post. Okay. That's so what I would suggest. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll do, I'll do one and then... Um, oh, you're going to make me do the rest. I'm gonna, okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so daylight hours, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not that hard. Unfortunately, you can't really just um, convert everything. And then I have a question about what to put in daylight hours. Okay. So I'm gonna. Um, I'm just gonna copy this. This one's easy because um, there's not much to it. Okay. So you take the page. Yeah. yeah. I just I just copy the content. Yeah. And um, there's lots of ways you can get. You can go over here to um, add a new post. Um, I generally just click this little pencil icon. Yeah. Um, so and we're gonna create a new post. Beep bop bop. And we can use even the same title. And I'm just gonna paste that in there. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have an image. Well, <laughs> Leon took pictures of our things, but I'm thinking I, I wanted to get a picture of my me sitting at my desk in right. the center. Right. So that's what I thought would be fun because then that's it fine. would be a quick. That's right. Shh, they know where that's to find right. me and right. what it looks like. And but but for but now, I don't have that for now. So, so sometimes you, you put a desk. Sometimes you don't have the, the picture, so um, <laughs> let's just let's just play some image fun. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, let's work for image of um, desk. Uh, this is one of the sites I use um, that are Creative Commons license, and I'll show yeah. you the attribution, the way yes. I go about it. Um, so sometimes you don't always get the kind of, the ones at the top don't pick because you have to pay for those, but right. all these are free, they're from Flickr. So we have sort of a funny stapler. Oh yeah, um, we could do a funny, ooh, a coffee cup on a table, on a desk. Is there a coffee cup I one? I don't know. How about with a little kid? <laughs> it, it, I'm just gonna <laughs> pick one at random. There's the busy desk. Okay. So this yeah. is just as an example. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, download. I'm going to download the biggest one they have. Okay. So that's going to save it to my computer. And then um, there's a couple ways you can do the copyright. They actually have the code that you can just copy here. OK. Um, there's, there's, a, there's several ways you can do this, but that might be the cleanest. And so now we're going to go back to. Um, our featured image, mm -hmm. and we're gonna find it from uh, my downloads. Make sure, yep, that's the one we want. Not the greatest picture, but this is a demo. It'll work. Yeah. Um, now, in this one, it's a featured image. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I, I, I'd be curious to see what happens if we use the caption information. I generally, what I do when I'm, I don't necessarily use the HTML, but um, when I click this image. Um, this gives me the URL where it came from, so I might copy that. Tell me if I'm going way too fast. No, no. Um, and I just might say um, <coughs> um, Flickr photo um, by, I think her name was Jenica or something like that. Mm -hmm. I might put the URL on something like that. Some of the themes actually will add that. Um, I'm curious to see what happens um, when we upload that. We also want to set the, the categories. So um, categories, we're going to make this uh, work, right? Yeah. Um, and it looks like it's interesting. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll auto complete actually <laughs> if you start typing these. Oh. Um, you don't have to use tags. That's a whole other way to organize stuff. Oh, okay. Um, generally, I think of um, categories as kind of like nice big buckets, and um, tags are just like free form like word association that you might do with it. And there's ways to. You can have tags um, because you can apply them across categories. Okay. Um, but let's just keep it simple for now and use your, your categories. So, um, do tags have anything to do if someone's searching for you? For not, if not really. Oh, okay. It's, it's more of a way to create an internal organization. <coughs> so, um, if I was going to tag, you know, I'm not sure what we're going to talk about this. Um, we might going to say like, you know, job. Um, I may want to tag um, 
penny light if um, I'm gonna be writing frequently about penny light mm -hmm. um, so it's just kind of um, you might want to put you know C was it C S E L I right mm -hmm. yeah um, because you might have tags in your work category you might write a poem about mm, yeah. Seasley <laughs> um, you might put it in your life right um, so things are seen in those categories but you can tag across those categories and just like there's a link to show everything that's in a category there's a link to show everything that has a tag mm. so what do people use the tag like how does that help you or does that help other people when they're looking for things there's a lot of ways you can use it. It just offers a different way to present your information. Okay. So you can show things, everything in the work category, or you can show everything that's tagged fun. Oh, okay. So, hmm. like, categories are kind of vertical, hmm. and tags okay. can cut across horizontally. Okay. Um, but, you know, play with it. So okay. we can preview this. I like the little bouncy things. <laughs> um, so look, mm -hmm. that looks pretty nice. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. Okay. So that that that's that's pretty basic. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really use that attribution um, thing. So um, what I might do in a case like this um, is that um, somebody's messaging me. <laughs> um, I go back to here where um, I can copy this uh, code. I can use that, and this will, this will get a little tricky here. Um, I might come down to the bottom, and I'm going to put a little, um, like, line break. Yeah. Um, I have to flip over because I'm pasting in code, and I'm going to paste this in here, and then I flip back, and basically oh. you've got attribution. You just put it at the bottom of your page. Yep, yep, you know, yep. You, you do have whatever way works for you. Okay, to, to, so to let's it. publish it and see what it looks like. Yeah, let's like. see what it looks like. And then I have a question about if I were to put my... I have a reflective piece that I'm going to put in there mm -hmm. about how I got to where I am. But right. then where would you put, like, your resume or, like... A resume is a perfect thing to put on a page. Cause okay. Because it, it's kind of a standalone okay. thing. It doesn't... You're not going to categorize it. It's a one chunk of information that okay. sits by itself. So you would put that in a... It would be like a sub-menu? Yeah. Things? Yeah. We'll, we'll work on your menus uh, in a second. Okay. We're yeah. doing the complete makeover here. Okay. <laughs> so I, I like the way that looks. Yep. Um... It's got your photo credit. Mm -hmm. um, right, see here, it's got posted in your work category. Yeah. So now when we go to our work category, now that's the first thing that comes up. So that's how categories work for you okay. to, to dynamically um, create the organizational sort of view of them. Got it. Um, boy, I really like this theme. It's, it's pretty mm -hmm. elegant. And so, um, and tags will work the same way. So if you start tagging stuff, um, C S E L I. Um, this will show everything that's tagged. Um, C S E L I. Okay. I want to check one thing. I'm curious. So this is helping me because I'm learning this mm -hmm. theme. I, every theme, I, it's like learning a new language at a time. Um, I wonder. Keep title with contents on single post. I'm curious what that does. Funny how it keeps slipping between those two interfaces. <laughs> uh, so we went to daylight hours. It said something about keeping the title. Oh, mm. see what it did? It put the title below. below. I kind of liked it up above. Yeah, yeah, yeah me okay. too. So, okay. That was something I customized. So this is, this is what I do all the time. It's oh, like, what what does this play. thing do? Right. Um, theme so let's yeah. yeah yeah so we're all good there okay I thought it would show so usually what it shows when you go in a category it says um, everything in the category this is actually kind of neat this will show you how it looks on a mobile phone uh -huh. so it resizes yeah. or a small tablet <laughs> or a computer uh, so that's what that th that's okay. what this theme um, means it's called responsive it means it'll change and reconfigure itself okay. depending on what kind of screen that, that people are watching it uh, okay. so now boy it's a comprehensive makeover you're a good sport <laughs> um, what we want to look at are um, your menus mm -hmm. uh, because we're going to do a makeover we want to set up some little 
yeah blogs with right in those yeah see the, these categories. are these are all <laughs> linked to pages so I'm gonna yeah. actually if you don't mind I'm just no, gonna go wipe ahead. all these out yeah and unfortunately I don't think there's a way to get rid of them all at once um, so you, you, you figured out um, the stuff you can add uh, mm -hmm. to your menu yeah uh, the home so um, in this case, um, we want to think about what are the major things you want to help people find on your site. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, one of the things, and I'm going to jump around here, is uh, I'm going to go in a new window. Let's just make, um, oh, let's just go there right now. Uh, oops, let's save this menu. So, I just nuked your complete mm -hmm. menu. Okay, um, that's fine. But I'm going to do a placeholder. Kay. So. Um, um, eventually you can get rid of those because we're, we're probably not going to use them or you can just leave them here there's nothing wrong with leaving yeah, stuff just, okay. that you don't use so um, we're gonna create a page um, I'll call it what would you want to call your resume page my resume or mm. <laughs> resume is, is <laughs> certainly just, suitable. okay we can change it let's do resume you, you, yeah, can, yeah, you can get just to make it creative a um, yeah. uh, place uh, placeholder for my resume okay. um, lovely resume um, I think on pages you too can also uh, do a featured image okay which would probably you want mm. but you might not so mm -hmm. let's leave it off on this one okay um, you can um, you can actually um, see uploaded files uh, I'm just gonna find try to find something you can upload a PDF version of your resume Okay. If you want to have that, like mm -hmm. you're going to take, you're probably going to make a version of your resume that'll look good on the right. web page. Yeah. Um, but then if you upload, um, I'm just got to find a PDF. Um, just looking for a generic PDF, and I'll take this thing off. So um, if this was your resume, which mm -hmm. it's not, um, we can add it um, just the way you add your images. Yep. Yes. Plunk it in there. Yeah. Okay. And so. What it will do is it'll create, um, uh, and the title becomes what makes my link. Download my resume uh, PDF. And so what what will happen is there, you'd want to spell oh, it right. I, yeah. <laughs> so you can basically build a link to download oh. that file. So what's better though? Both. For people. Oh, okay. Both. Because. I don't like reading PDFs on the web. No. I, I'd like okay. to see like a version of, of your resume. Mm. Um, so I always have a, a web version of my resume and then I offer the option to download um, the most current one. Um, I'm going to take this one off. What happened there? Mm. Crazy. <laughs> Zoomed. Yeah, I want to zoom. Um, okay. But if we just publish this right now, mm -hmm. it's obviously not going to be very thrilling. But shouldn't we categorize that it should be in work? Or how do we it's not, oh. it's a page. It's a page, okay. It's mm -hmm. just, okay. it's just standing out there on its own. <laughs> so this is what your resume okay. is going to look like. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, okay. you'll have more. Mm -hmm. um, you, you can even, um, so now when we come over to your uh, menus, mm -hmm. um, this is the reason I wanted to do it, yep. is we, resume is something we probably want to add to your menu. Mm -hmm. um, but then we can add things like, um, you can add a link to your menu. So you can, you can link to any site and have it be part of um, this so we could put the URL for you know CSELI mm -hmm. or TRU um, I'll just put you can take this off later if you don't want TRU okay. on here um, but I just want to show you that you can mix and match um, links um, pages and then what we want to do is put some of your um, categories so um, in here work yeah right right yeah so we may want to add uh, work writing and life um, and let's just add cats just for fun. Um, it's only going to show you, I think, the ones. Oh, this one will show you all. This one will show you the ones that you've actually got things um, sitting in. Mm -hmm. um, but what happens is these now all become um, categories, and we can do um, lots of things. So um, cats is a subcategory. Yeah, you you've can done just all drag. that part. Yep, yeah, I've done that so you've, you've done that whole thing. I just wanted to see what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Having trouble envisioning this. Yeah, and there's other places. I'm going to show you some other places we can deal with, um, because I know what you're saying is that 
the link is off there to the side and you have to know um, what they're trying to do is make the site um, more simple mm -hmm. on the front mm -hmm. um, and not be so cluttered with links so these links kind of um, appear as a little flyout menu um, oh, that's kind of cool yeah the other place I want to show you that I actually haven't really spent much time is under um, where are the widgets uh, bum, 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 bum. it's WordPress uh, appearance widgets so let's see um, this has only one area widgets allow you to put things usually it's like a sidebar mm -hmm. sometimes it's on a footer I don't know where this one um, appears and there's all kinds of things that you can put in a widget so an archive kind of organizes your stuff by date um, so I might say I might just call it archive I generally make it a menu so it doesn't take up a lot of space and I'll show you what happens by um, creating a post count but that's something that might be useful um, um, you can um, I think the only one I've ever used is you can do categories, and so what that creates is a um, is a collection of um, you want to show the hierarchy maybe and the post counts, not as a drop down. That'll list all your blog categories. Okay. As sort of a navigational item, uh, we don't have a band page, you know, box fashion calendar, um, category cloud. That's interesting. Okay. Um, you can also do this, I'm curious to see what the difference is between the, the cloud display and the other one. Um, so, and, and again, just like the menu, you can order these things yeah. um, around. So, um, so say, um, my stuff, um, 30 categories, you can, if you don't want a certain category to be included, um, this will control, this makes like a little Wordle or a word cloud, um, which might be kind of interesting. And then the last thing I want to show you is um, there's one called a hopefully in here. There's all kinds of ones. Pages, post I like, retired, text. So if we um, a text just gives you kind of an open space to write stuff. Um, so a lot of times what I suggest for widgets is um, at the top. Um, you could say um, about, and you could say, this is a pithy statement about me. You're a single finger typer. Yeah, I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's why my wife divorced me. She said my typing and bothered her. So um, I I'm curious to see where this widget area appears. Mm -hmm. um, they call it a sidebar. Sometimes these appear on the bottom. No, this one doesn't. Um, so when we go over to this one, I like that picture. <laughs> Where is the sidebar? I hope it's not in here. Oh, yeah. Everything. Uh, okay. It's kind of a minimalistic theme. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, you know, we'll have to play with That's it to cool. see how yeah. you know. it yeah. kind of combines the sidebar and the menu into mm -hmm. like this little pullout. That's kind of like a mini map. Yeah. Um, so, you, um, just I, I, so this is that thing that you wrote. Um, oh, good. Oh, here's the categories. Um, this presents the categories as oh, more I like of those. a word that's cloud. Cool. And um, well, that's what the, the so these are called word clouds. Yeah. Oh. So as as it changes, if you have a lot of thing in work, yeah. it's going to get bigger. Um, so you get like the size of the, the box will represent how much stuff is in there. Oh. Yeah, word clouds are, so you know, that may be a better navigational thing than this sort of indexy type thing. Mm. I, I kind of like that. And then, you know, when you, when you go into one of these categories, we see everything um, that's in writing. Which is and then where is the, now if we go in there, like where, where did those stories go? Oh, oh, it's the same. Yeah. So where did the, all the, where did those creative nonfiction pieces go? That one, the two stories that I posted up there, where are those pages? Oh, so I'd have to add the page. Yeah, probably. 
somehow in here. You mean the ones that you've already written? Yeah. yeah you got to convert them to post. Right. Uh, I would Can really we do that again one more yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> so I forget how we did that now. This is the makeover. Let, <laughs> let's, um, let's go back to, uh, to your stuff, and we'll go to your pages. Um, so, uh, so I know hang I on, I like the other interface better, sorry. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old school. Oh, I, yeah, I've got familiar, I'm familiar with that one, um, too. So we go into your pages. Okay, so we so already did daylight else? hours. So we have to categorize them, is that right? Uh, no, or what do we do with them? We're, we're going to make them into posts because these are pages. So we already did this one, so I'm going to actually move it to your trash. Okay. Um, it doesn't delete it. It just takes it off the page for right now. Um, so if we went to early morning pages, um, this is... Um, it's just blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I've had to put something in right, there. Right, right. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, again, <laughs> we're just going to do this process. I'm going to... So you copy it? I'm going to copy all that. Um, I don't. There is a picture. We'll get the picture later. Okay. Um, and then we're going to use this so thing. Like pencil, yeah. Yeah, to create a post. Um, and so this was called early morning pages, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to paste that in there. Um, we're going to pick the category. Let's just go into, uh, where does this go? Um, well, it's the writing. Yes, it's the writing. Okay. okay. And then, so now I'm just trying to figure out. So this is just random blabbling. Right, right. And then I wanted, when, once you're into this early morning pages, you could click to see creative fiction, creative nonfiction. And so if you clicked on this, then you would get stories. Well, th so there's. I'm wondering how we could do that. Well, we, we could make links on the bottom of here mm -hmm. that, that point to those different areas. Right. It's just that you have to manually create those. Right. Or you could put in the PDFs. That was it. Would you do that? No? Would nah. that be stupid? <laughs> Not really. I don't want to look at PDFs. <laughs> okay. You okay. only look at PDFs if you want to print them. Right. Right. It, it kind of takes you out of your website and okay. you're, someone's looking at it. So, how do you. Maybe my question is can you create a menu within a post? You can't really create a menu. What, what we would do is, so what were the things you want to put under there? That is, so in this early morning pages would be the fiction, creative nonfiction, and probably the research. Right. So is that everything mm -hmm. that's in the writing category? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, you could, there's a couple ways we could do this. Um, I'll leave it with you and you'll make it beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I mean, one way is you could just say, see everything in my writing category or mm -hmm. we can make a little bulleted list that says see my blah 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 mm -hmm. blah mm. would that what sure i mean what would what, i don't know how people do these there's what like standard? there's like it's like you know six of one half a dozen or right. other, <laughs> and then five other permutations <laughs> of that and um you, you might try things so let's say um i'm gonna do um sorry, i'm the visual editor here so and I think maybe I'm stuck on web pages because I'm thinking I keep thinking of this like a web page. Yeah, a WordPress page probably. means something very specific. It's yes. a kind of content. Right. Um, it's this thing that just kind of is a one piece standalone. Yeah. And it has no kind of relationship to other content. Okay, I think I'm trying to have it do both. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So um, technically, you could link to a web page if I wanted to create you could a web page of the writing. You could do this. Yeah. What, what I would say, um, see my writing. I'm going to make a header here. And then I'm going to have to open, um, let's see. I'm going to go to, um, we want to get to your, uh, your categories. I'm going to the admin here. So I'm going to, because I know where these links are hidden. Um, so we want to link to the creative nonfiction mm -hmm. and the fiction. And yeah. Okay. So, um, Basically, this is the link that's going to pull up my category view of all my creative nonfiction. So I'm going to copy that link, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to maybe do a bulleted list. Um, creative nonfiction. And so um, and then I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to link it um, to mm. that category. Um, then I'm going to have, the other one was fiction, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to cheat because I know what the URL is. Um, it should just be underscore fiction. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd have to go back. 
Yeah. And then um, research. Research. I don't think we have anything in there, but no, but it, it'll come up. But this is this, okay. you know we're building the site out. Right. So um, so basically, I'm creating a link to the category archive um, for each one of these um, things. Um, see all my writing. Mm. It's not grammatically correct, but <laughs> um, okay. Now it's okay. Oh, we need a featured image. Oh, yeah. we can do the book. One of those, these, one of those. I don't know which one is better. Oh, that one's trimmed. I would do this one. Yeah, that one is. I've edited yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So let's publish this. Okay. <laughs> it may not work, you know. So early morning pace. Mm, That's beautiful. I like that. So you have a little bit of introduction. Yep. This, yeah, perfect. That's all I want. So when you click, now if I had more pieces, that's the problem. Yeah. So how do you, then you'd have a little subcategory that would link to, you could put you the mean, title. You right? mean more things to go under here? Yeah, so. Mm, you mean like if you add other categories? No, like w if I have more than one story. Right, because this will go to one story. No, no, this is a category. A ca oh. This goes to everything you've published in that category. That's why we're using categories. Oh, okay, so. So, so uh, this we don't have any things in this category. So. Um, can we put that one in there? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> we can do that. So let's go to here. Let's get. I will release you. <laughs> you're fine. No, this is this is what we want to cover, and and you're actually teaching everybody else here. So, um, we have to put some things in that category. So what we go into, um, what could we add? Uh, Hmm. All right, so I'm going to um, very quickly for the sake. So essentially, I need that page. Well, see, it's a page. Well, yeah, right? they're That's not posted. The problem. Yeah, you have to <laughs> I have convert to them. The, so essentially, my process would be convert each of my pages into a post. Put them in the right category. Put them in the right category. And then that link will work. And then link. It, oh, because okay. what you're going to get okay. when you click creative nonfiction yeah. is something that looks like. Um, this cat, it's writing. It's a little confusing in my brain. It, it, it'll work. <laughs> it's a different mind. It, it'll work. Um, so if we go to the writing category, because that one actually has two posts in it, um, every time mm. you add something new to your creative nonfiction or your fiction category, right. it'll add an entry. Okay. And then that way you don't have to keep manually updating mm -hmm. links. So categories work to organize your material. Okay. What do you think? Mm. Okay, I'll have to think about it. <laughs> I'm pretty, you know, I'm thinking table contents. I'm still thinking I know, like I a know. web page. It's hard to, well, that's why it's we, like a shift. Okay. We, we want to, you know, I manipulate. I see, that's why we started with all, blogs all first. I get um, it now, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, this is this is really a beautiful theme. and um, It's working, I like it. And so um, it's going to feature more of your, your more, you know, as we add things, mm -hmm. it's going to be in the, the time order um, that they were written. Right. Um, and did we want it to blur it as we when we hover? How do we change that? Or is that just? You mean that green overlay? Yeah. That's what the theme does. It's okay. like it means you're. It's That's an active That's where I'm length. going. Okay. Um, I okay. don't know if you can change that hover color. Okay. And, you know, it's it's actually that's where you get into the thing of where they want to make you they pay. They want me to pay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and actually, I don't, this theme was not available yet. So, um, yeah, we can't change the color. Mm. Um, but if you, you know, if, if, if you, yeah. I'm not saying, I, I would say let's get the site Wait, so, yeah, I know. organized. And then fiddle and with then, those And then if, like, details. you're like, yeah. I really like this, I want to really make it um, yeah. my, my yeah. place, yeah. Um, then it may be worth for you to consider mm -hmm. the upgrade and, and change yeah. the colors. But you can do that at any time. Yeah. I mean, the important thing now is um, th there's a site that you have that um, and it's good. You're going to have to do this back work of reorganizing mm -hmm. and think yeah. about um, as you're writing how to organize um, your material. Okay. Um, if you sit down to write and you say, oh, my God, I don't have a category for dogs. <laughs> um, you should just be able to um, create a new one on the fly. Yeah. And it'll create a new dogs category. Oh, yeah, I have a beautiful picture of my dog. Oh, good. I just put that on. They, they deserve <laughs> equal time with the yes, cats. Yes, yes. <laughs> so how do you feel? Is that good? Yep. Yeah. All right. I have some work to do though. Yes.
because now I'm all anal about it. All right, okay. so you're the first. You're the first <laughs> blog makeover. This Yay! has been exciting. Awesome. Thank you. I 